something to soothe this pain, to cool the love you pump through my veins, cause I'm burning, I'm burning up for you. <gasps> butterflies. You know butterflies are the most majestic insect? You didn't know that? Well, now you know. Fucking educational part of the episode. You're welcome. That's the murderer right there in case you didn't catch on to that. Spoiler alert. Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. A white female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. We got a steak ad down on second later tonight. I already know what my newspaper Norman face looks like, and believe me, Christian. folks, you don't want to see it. Ha <laughs> ha! I got the jitters again. about him in the paper. You know Fuck the way. You, you, you drive. drive. I don't want a two-star rating at the end of this little lift operation, so I'm not Robert McCall, but still. Henry K. Phelps. Not bad for your first time at bat. Thanks, Rusty. But don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. And no assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. You might get along after all. Now, boys, boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy's been completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case. Fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't Mendes. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for that matter. So you matter. don't believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world, with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the City of Angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. Hello, if you're the first one seeing any to know everything you, you were doing. Gonzalez? Not me. The family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. And you show me the body. It's under the pepper tree, this way. Is it over here? here? She is. It's in this direction, right? Dead body's over here. Yeah, where's the where's the de where, where's the dead body? Where's the DB, everybody? 
I'm not coming over here is to get a look at wow look at this view of LA this is beautiful this is something this is very PlayStation 2 ish right now but look all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. oh here's a church in the horizon there's a church over there you know significance where is um where's the DB anybody know where it is I'm holding down right trigger but I'm not in a full uh, sprint so I must be in the radius of the DB Anybody know where, uh, anybody know where it is? Anybody know? Does anybody know where I'm going here? It's not, oh, is it over here? There's, oh, there's a, there's a camera flashing. The dead body must be in this, in this general direction. My God, there is a purse on the floor of the earth. Money, 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 money. If the motive was robbery, why not take the money? If this was a true LAPD situation, I would have taken that. I'm not gonna take it. Oh, well, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R and I? Back in a second. Oh, that sucks. She was a teacher. That you know. Alright, look, everybody, I don't mean to get preachy for a second here, but look. Teachers already have enough bullshit they got to deal with as it is nowadays. That just sucks ass that a teacher would ever case. get killed. Was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Teachers are the thing that, you know... Alright, let me start from the beginning. There's enough fucking ignorance in the United States of America right now, everybody, to fill the entire planet of Venus. Okay, maybe even the planet of Jupiter with the amount of ignorance that's going on nowadays. And, and you know, teachers are the thing that are trying to keep the education system going, and they're not getting paid anywhere near enough they should be getting paid. You know? No good to and me. If, you know, and a lot of teachers, a lot of teachers bitch about it. They're like, hey, we're not getting paid enough. Well, you know, there's a lot of shitty teachers out there, but some of the teachers are actually worthy of getting paid a hell of a lot more than they're getting paid. Especially if they're doing their job. Incidental. And a lot of them have to put up with a lot of shit. So, you, you, for the smart people out there, the, you know, like the, you know, 20% of you that are out there that have a fucking brain cell out there that know what I'm talking about, you'll know what I mean when I'm saying we should probably be, you know, giving less to the overall population of America. And then, therefore, we would be having less ignorance out there because that way people wouldn't be fucking like bunny rabbits and, therefore, you know, teachers being overwhelmed with shithead, retarded children to deal with. The what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we've got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. The size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. You mind if I examine the body? Be my guest. What's this mark? A cut on a finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. Looks like she was tied up. It does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Look at your mark, it's very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. The Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What'd I tell you? Let's grab the husband, take him downtown and work him over. We could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? So what's going on over there? In the park so far away, didn't you? Son of a bitch.
You can drive. Still might be some playing the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out, that is. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? You know, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagine. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? We're going to have a look around. He'll be back any moment. Just sit tight. Circumstantial. Oh, shit. You know what? I just remembered. In, in the Xbox 360 version of this game, before this case begins... This is the part where you switch to disc 2. This would technically be disc 2 right now if we weren't in a age of better technology. Just so you know. Since this is the Xbox One version, everything's on, you know, one giant disc. But back in the day on the 360 when I first played this game, I, don't think so. I would have had to have switched to the second disc. Second of three discs. Back, you know. What the fuck Microsoft was thinking... Back then, before they, uh... Doesn't tell me anything. PS3 version, obviously, was all on one disc. Because, you know, Sony had some sense to... Is that mm. a mango? Don't think this is any use to us. I'm thinking that's a mango. I'm just gonna go with that instinct. That's what it's all about, a drunk gaming, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about instinct. And maybe possibly not fucking up something. Although that's always the case. Most of the time. 69% of the time, most of the time, that's the case, everybody. Hashtag Paul Rudd. Don't think this is anything. Work boots. <gasps> Size eight. <gasps> I don't know why I expected that to be a different. Uh, it's not. It's not. It's all. It's all size eight. No sign of a wedding ring. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. I 
Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. <laughs> Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? I could try. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. Fuck you, you're lying to me. For quite a while. What happened with your I father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. Oh, did you now? Well, <laughs> yeah, okay. I know it's painful, Michelle. But this may be it. important. She wore a wedding ring. Mommy chose it herself. A rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes, a yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. We had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. They Fuck you, bullshit! Today, Michelle. Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hey! What did? Daddy, the police are room here. Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What? The... But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. All right, look, before I say anything, let me just say, let me just say, all right, I'm not sucking dick or please, anything right all, here, please okay? I'm being, I'm being honest. I'm being honest here. This guy right here, Greg Grunberg, the actor who's playing Hugo Mueller, this guy's, this guy is so fucking underrated. He is so fucking underrated as a character actor. Have any of you ever seen the movie Big Ass Spider? Have any of you ever seen Big Ass Spider? No? I'm, I'm, I'm expecting like 90-something percent of you to say no. Well, you need to go fucking Netflix or whatever you got to do to see it. That movie is a great underrated movie. Seriously. And this guy is the fucking lead actor in that. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done. All right, what let's move on. What shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Fuck you! Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Sydney would not be happy with us. Why would I lie to you at a time like this? That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. Nah. That's it? There's gotta be more. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. 
you should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was, I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. All right, you know, it's at this point that I noticed that the whole weird Ken doll thing that the game developers added with the bodies doesn't quite match up with the over over awesome like facial recognition software that they had at the time. What the fuck was the whole what was that shit? I mean, it was it looked like a puppet. It looked like a puppet on a string was doing the whole oh, I don't remember I was at that at the time. It doesn't Your wife it doesn't go out by herself compute with the bars, you know, nightclubs. No. That's what it could have been. What are you, what are you suggesting? You're suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, God damn it. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. We should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Hello? Detective! Okay, what's this? Oh, shit, fuck balls. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yes, ma'am. I she heard some terrible news over the radio. Street. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. There's almost Look, some fucking there woman over on the side that. Oh, jeez. Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no. Oh, balls! Come on, Hugo. This is weird. This is weird. Oh, that's weird. I, I, get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the captain. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you oh, can that's call, Miss? I don't. What's home? And you need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family, grandparents, aunts or uncle. Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield, and call her. We're going to get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. 
We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. Isn't that the cop? Galloway, homicide division, badge number five six. Phelps, one two four seven. No, it's at, yeah. There you go. We get Ray Pinker I was about to say it's. I, I, I need an address on a Belmont high school. Send someone down from juvenile hall to look detective. after a young lady. Roger, Belmont High, one five seven five West Second Street. Thank you. Got it, KGPL. Hey, you drive. You I, drive. I, 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 I need to go over the case yeah. notes. That too. Yeah, that too. I'm surprised, you know. I didn't make the husband. Always make the husband, Phelps. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person to the Vic who does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some wives in my day. Lex Parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical on me. I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. And try this one on for size. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. Closes cases, Cole. Puts a lot of people away, that one. Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench. Stumped. Ideas? You want to take a look at these rope samples of Mal's? uses for that kind of rope on boats mooring lines correct although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches so are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister well in my experience sailors seem to have the greater libido was mrs. Muller criminally attacked no, no external or internal traces of semen thanks Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. All right. Oh, hold up. Hey, hey, am I if I use your f uh, fuck it? Operator, give me R and I. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Are there any messages for me? Yes, Detective. A green 1946 coupe.
registered to Mrs. Hugo Muller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School in Plainfields. Captain Donnelly wants you to head down there immediately to take the school janitor statement. Thanks, ma'am. What are we waiting for? Exactly the happiest of places to clean his office. Carruthers is a good man, professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, that, the coroners. How so? You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. You've been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. This is the car? Yes, sir, detective. Have you looked it over? Superficially. I was told to wait for you guys. Thanks. We'll take it from here. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. And this was the same man? I don't know, sir. I mean, I'd like to say yes, but the truth is, it was pretty dark. All right. Tell me about this man you've been having trouble with. He hangs near the playground, tries to befriend the children. He was around here last night before the dance. Is he violent? Yes, sir, I would say so, yes. There's a son of a bitch now! Hey, you! Go, Phelps. I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off. Can I just shoot this fucking piece of shit creep? Try speeding up on me, you son of a bitch, with your fucking faster animation. Fuck you. I would've had his ass, like, before the second wall. What's this? What, what the fuck is that shit? Look at that. Look, he's already ahead of me. What is that? Let me just try drawing my... Yeah, that's it. That's it. Beat the that's shit out of your enough, fucking freak. pedophile oh, piece of fucking shit head ass, head Eli. The way it should be done. Oh, but, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Everything's too PC now. You can't, like, say shit like that about people. Let me tell you something about child molesters, everybody. They're not fucking fixable. They're pieces of shit. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you loki motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like them a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. You're under arrest, Eli. You are in very deep trouble. Why bother with the paperwork, Eli? I'm gonna take out my gun, and I'm gonna count to five. Let's see how fast you can run now. Hang on a goddamn minute. I found that thing in the parking lot. Get some backup out here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. 
I'll tell them we got a kitty raper coming in. They can roll out the red car. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. The overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. This is a long sprint, and there we go. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, Detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thanks for your help. You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. You gotta agree with Rusty on this one. For a while. He gets a free pass for now. You better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. Fuck you, we'll Sal. Well I know what I'm doing. Him do the rest. Are they ready? Molars in two and the perverts in one. Get in there and get a conviction. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Yeah, the, the, the lie test thing that he's mentioning, I'm pretty sure back in the 1940s, it's not like the little strap around the wrist and the little strap around the head like they have nowadays. I'm pretty sure they had to, like, set up a whole leather rig around their entire torso and shit, so let's not do that for taxpayers' sake. Why did you burn your sake. shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Believe what? It's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought them in, and I helped him skin them. Have you guys ever had rabbit food before, let me let me tell you, there's a reason why Elmer Fudd was so, like, obsessed with that shit. Okay, rabbit is pretty damn delicious. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. <laughs> you learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. Bullshit. You're lying, Hugo. You're gonna have to come clean on this. You got no proof. <laughs> the fuck I don't. The fuck I don't. 
Boosh. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A uh, Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tie iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Enough lies, oh, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Green overalls, blood stain, with the initials HM found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator too? Alright, where's the other son of a bitch? Come well, on, where's interrogation? Come on, I'm in the middle of my vibe here. Where the fuck's interrogation room one? The fuck is it? Okay, arrow points this way. I know what I'm doing, motherfuckers. Just give me a second. Yep. Nope. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Shut up. Shut up. I already know what you're thinking. Shut up. I don't, I don't, um... Boys. Mm -hmm. Really? Captain. Uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, Phelps, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. Well, uh... I said we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Oh, there it is. All right, here he is. Son you of a like bitch. had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? Don't call me boy. I mean, I know I'm. I know I'm a handsome motherfucker, but I ain't like the motherfuckers you usually see me get. Luck. Son of a bitch. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. You can't miss the place. Big yellow letters HM out front. They give you any work wear, Eli? Sure. Green cover on. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old doing fine. A farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid until I hit you braid. It stays tight. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. I ain't done nothing like that. You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things. And you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight, and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. Fuck you, Eli. Eli Rooney, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You don't want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy. You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rap. I ain't a killer.
Ah, Phelps, Galloway. Congratulations are at hand. Drink, boys? I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. In the meantime, I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. Once again, I proved that, you know, maybe driving with my, you know, partner is better than just driving normally like I did in the last case. But look, the real issue here is pedophilia. And, you know, before I close for the end of the night here, let me just point out the fact that I don't believe that child molesters are redeemable. They're not redeemable people. Don't get me wrong. There's shitloads of children out there. There's actually more children and more fucking mouth breathers out there than the world really needs right now, in my personal opinion. But child molesters shouldn't use that as an excuse to go, oh, well, you know what? They're just kids. <laughs> Fuck child molesters. They are not to be fucking coddled and excused and forgiven for the actions that they have. No matter what country you're in, no matter what fucking space on the planet Earth you are, it's... Actually, you know, as a matter of fact, they should be taken to prison.